pressure, and then when they both get an advantage state, they're some of the scariest yeah. players to go against. Yeah, K9 did beat, um, I believe it was to get into top eight of Thunder Smash Gaming. He beat K9 to get into that, so they ended up getting seventh, so there you go. This is going to be a run back. K9's mad, man. He's like, that was my $600, bro. Give me my money back. Definitely, but the prize, uh, prize winning first probably won't be $600, but, you know, a lot, uh, a lot of confidence and just a lot of good feelings it's all and about, money. It's all about the pride. You're right. No one wants the money. I want the money. Yeah. Getting into it pretty even between the two. Oh, Raz are actually going for Peach this time, but, you know, no real difference between the two. Oh, dude, he just threw out the down smash. I like the attempt right there from K9. Putting the fear in Razo's heart. And yeah, calling out the jump with the back air. Oh, okay, nice. He got the snipe with the blaster. Oh! Uh, yeah, this time he knew that the getup attack was coming out. Quick down smash. When you look at getup attack and you shield it and then you punish it, it just doesn't look like you have as much time as you do, but yeah. you really do just have the time to do whatever you want. If, if you... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um... Well, what I was saying was like, it was, oh, there's Raza with the forward air, not gonna be enough. Um, it, that first time he went for that down smash at the ledge and he, he, he traded with Razo, it may have looked like, okay, why did he just go for that immediately? But it actually set up for the next ledge trap option where Raza was probably like thinking like, he's gonna do it again. But that time K9 waited immediately and then got out. the punish. Yep. So here we go, down to our, our second stocks for both players. Pretty even in percent. K9 gets a throw right here into the forward air. Ooh, two Ooh, double, blasters. Yep, double laser. Kicking him, kicking K9 right in the face with the down air. Not gonna get a full like peach conversion, but we're still we're still going off. Goes for the runoff fair. Definitely would have hit K9 had he been a couple centimeters closer. You know what I, I ju was just thinking? That uh, Wolf's forward smash, it's 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 like commonly known as a uh, tiger's pump. Like that's mm -hmm. that's what the move is called like in, in martial arts in most martial arts. Oh but, yeah, but well, Wolf's a wolf, <laughs> he's a tiger. <laughs> anyway, he's a tiger, but he definitely he definitely hits like one. Felines, man, if they can borrow moves. That's cool. So you have told again. They are going to send him into the very top of the blast, and I'm so surprised he's not dead. God. All right, nice. Coming back to the stage with the Peach Bomber. Beautiful oh, wow. ledge trump from Raza. Razo. Razo did not let oh, K9 play. Oh, eyes, too. Yo. Oh, oh don't. let's go. I love to see it. Yeah, don't back throw that at me. Equal finish right here. One stock for both players, 0%. I deleted Everything's issue. riding on this now. Well, at least game one is. I definitely thought uh, Raz was going to hit that stitch face. I was like, oh, he might get a lot of damage. Then the reflector came in. I would have felt so bad if I get hit by that. That probably would have done, like, what, 60%? Bruh. Yeah, that would, he would have got hit a lot of damage for it. Oh, he had the idea with the reflector, but let's go a little too early. Yeah, the thing about reflector is, like, you can't just, like, hold it out and wait, like, for them to throw something because if they just see you holding it out then they're just gonna like they're gonna walk over there walk over there hit you grab you do whatever um so when you are using reflector it's you're always trying to read the fact that your opponent is like going to throw a projectile you're like they're gonna do it now yeah, you can almost never like react right you can't like react with oh, the yeah flow cancel there like i was saying you can't really react with the reflector and right. then expect it to work because, like, if they're throwing in and you can react, it's usually at a distance where both players can react. And then if it's up close, it, it is just a read. Yeah. So, right now, that flow cancel Nair out of shield is going to take that first uh, game. So, Razo up 1-0 now. Can okay, I'm finally selecting a different stage against Shine with all PS2. So, now we're going to town. I can agree with the pick. Once a little, a little longer. Yeah, wi wider, much wider stage. Yeah, a lot of room for Wolf to, to go around and maneuver around these things that Peach is uh, throwing at him. Just going to start out with an immediate blaster, make Another sure stitch. that Razo doesn't invade that space. Yeah, dude. He didn't make much use of it. Like, at all. He didn't even try to, like, get anything cute. He just threw it up and then threw it away. But, you know, if he doesn't need that, oh, I like that. 
I like that so much. A lot of times Feech will just do down throw, uh, down air or back air, but at zero it really is kind of, it's kind of negative on sh on hit, so you can't get butt. So we just went for the turnaround, wait to see what K9 does, and immediately got it down tilt. Not getting a full conversion though. All right, let's see K9 holding, retreating back to the center stage, just maintaining the control there. Uh oh, it's forced to air dodge back to the stage. Uh, one thing to note is that the um, air dodge, I, I guess it was a glitch that where you could air dodge off stage and override the lag of Wolf Flash is oh, no longer a thing here. Oh, that did get patched yeah, out? Yeah, it got patched out. It wasn't in the patch notes, but it got patched out. Yeah, yeah I remember seeing that. That was, that was so trippy the first time you, uh, you witnessed it. You were like, what the hell? You landed with no lag. That's supposed to have, like, tons of lag. It's supposed to be my free punish. Oh, and Kano with the F tilt right here by the ledge, getting that first stock off of Razo. He is at 105% though, so you got to be really careful about how he plays this next. Razo just looking for this, pacing himself with the back airs, trying to read the double jump, but doesn't get it, and that's going to cost him, man. Yeah, cost him about 35%. A lot of damage happening to Razo, but eventually, if you throw out enough airs, one of them will hit. Such a big hitbox. He was walking over to like try to punish it, but unfortunately that peach bomb, or, yeah, the peach bomber's active for so long. Such a ridiculous move. Oh, here's the start of something beautiful. But we didn't the get it. Uh, the up air on that platform, kind of saving K9 right there. Yeah, thank God for that top platform of the uh, town. Oh, dang! That's that, that was just. That was just kind of out of nowhere. K9 had nothing really to worry about, but I think he wanted to try to poke. Uh, Razo through the stage just didn't have the right angle. That sucks, man, because he is down a game, and now he's down to his last stock right here. Razo with a relatively healthy life, but K9 definitely can uh, get this stock if he's able to get a read or, or even a tech chase into that down smash. Ooh. Oh, I like the oh flow. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Seeing Razo with momentum is just so scary because he just looks like maybe the best player on the planet. <laughs> yeah, dude, he may as well just be. Oh, Razo oh. to turn up into fair. That put K9 in a really bad spot off stage. Look at all this pressure. Yeah, Forcing him into Razo that getup. Wow. Razo's going hard right now. Gets that quick Yikes. two stock, and now he's up 2 0 against K9. All right, K9 with his back to the wall right now. Definitely probably not feeling too great about that uh, game number two where he was doing really well and then kind of just, uh, uh, he actually SD'd, yeah. Yeah, yeah that SD definitely, I think, was the no, change of momentum. No, you're not. <laughs> nah, I think, like, <laughs> I I think like, you're just hovering over I characters. Was like, Bruh. So, no, you're not, dude. <laughs> Listen, K9, we're not close like that, but let me first. Maybe. <laughs> like, let me first of all, tell, just don't do it. Don't, don't go like Isabella or Plant. Yeah, dude, you're going to go Wolf. Like, I believe you have a lot of characters, yeah. but. Wario, maybe? Yeah, maybe. I believe in the Wario. Diddy Kong? Oh, yeah, I ain't seen that in a while. I think he's thinking about what he wants to do. Dude, I, think, I know he has a Lucina, but he probably just doesn't like playing Lucina too much. But Sorties do well against uh, Peach. I think Kong? Wolf does well against Peach, too. He's mm -hmm. thinking super hard about it. I'd he's like thinking, do I want to throw this game and potentially work on a different character? Oh, there's Lucina. I'd like to see maybe the Lucina or the Wario. Yeah. Yeah, the, I would I'd be down for Lucina or Wario as well. Yeah, he's right back to the Wolf. And playing with our heart here. I want to see another character, but you know, you got to go with your tribe. Who you got to go with? Who you think you're gonna get a win with? And there was gonna be a character we know, we know K94 would be Wolf. Yeah. I, I do think Lucina would have been a, a just a just fine pick too. Yeah, it's good, just as good, justifiable for sure. And we're gonna kick off game number three. After all, like, if it hadn't been for that self destruct in the last game, like it, things might have gone entirely different. So. K9's mm -hmm. Wolf definitely has the potential to take this W over Razo right now. So far, the percentage is in his favor, too. And he gets a down throw right here, trying to set up into the back air. But Razo just going right back to the ledge. Uh, Razo, even on the ledge, he was Ooh. doing so many things. He did jump, like, flow cancel, down air, throw out a lot of things just to throw, just to, like, confuse K9. Say, just because I'm at the ledge doesn't mean I'm not going to swing. I love the way that Raza recovers. He just do, does all these floats. He just mixes up his timing. You, you never really know where he's going to be. He goes to the up smash, barely oh. going to miss. <sighs> Dang. Raza has pulled on everything <laughs> now so far in this set. Dash attack right there going to take that first stock. K9 
moving up. I think this might be the first lead of the set. And there's the toad counter perfectly executed. K9 had no other options right there. He had already expended his double jump and could, didn't oh. have the uh, vertical distance to use up special either. Honestly, Razo and him. Really missing it. Oh. Yeah, you were right. Again, Wolf Flash not too good at snapping the ledge. And that pe the, the Toad, yeah. it, it was just wraps. Oh, oh sniping dude. him again. Ah, uh, Wolf, uh, K9 getting a little antsy with these Wolf Flashes back to the stage. And he's either, uh, not all of these have been like completely necessary. But he thought it was safe there because Razo, oh God, I like the idea. I like yeah. the idea with the down air. He thought he was safe. Because Raza was away, but he was just pulling a turn up just for the bait, up being right past the turn up. Oh, dude, you're sitting in shield. I'm surprised Raza didn't go for a grab right there, and with K9 uh, just holding yeah, that the, I, his ground for so long. Yeah. Yeah, the idea there, he was just sitting there. He's waiting for the shield to go down so he could uh, shield poke with the back air. But unfortunately, K9, K9 kind of realized what was happening. But I, I would have been so scared. Dude, he goes so deep, but it wasn't worth. I mean, at least now we're one one down piece. to our last stock. Yeah. But Razo, from what we've been seeing, he's usually pretty good w when it's one stock. And Peach, the damage outputs on like one conversion is so deadly. I mean, it's so much easier to carry that momentum with uh, Peach, I would say, because she, she's just so much more safe mm -hmm. in general. Yeah, Peach can just get out of disadvantage. Yep. She has Flow Cancel Bear, that thing you just can't do anything about. Yeah, Float alone is just, wow, what a beautiful conversion. Getting the, Throwing the turnip up. Getting the grab and then throwing K9 into that, that was so much damage. That's such, yeah, that's such a reminiscent bait of like when uh, Spacey would hold Reflector against uh, like Banana and then they just throw it up. They just throw the banana yeah. up and immediately get a punish. Ooh, okay. quick fair. Uh oh, K9 in a really bad spot. He's at the ledge. Down tilt. Oh my mm. god. That was. No, he, we're oh, not dead though. He's living. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not ready to give it up. I think he actually just could have done like. Down tilt uh, into Nair like fair, but Razo trying to trying to do something else. Can I fresh breath of life? He knows he needs one smash attack, one down good down smash read to win. Oh, dude! Oh my God! I'm surprised Razo didn't uh, throw the uh, the counter out right there. Oh, oh is he dead? Not oh, yet. Great di into that top right corner. Well, that turn up hit so <laughs> hard. God eyes. Up smash! Oh, oh my god, up smash dude! Traded. 220 percent K9 living for so long. Can I need one thing? But right now, how do you do this against Peach? Oh, he's back. Oh yeah, puts it. 3-0 finish. Yeah, from Peach, Razo. Is just, Peach is just able to throw so many things in your face. She's she's able to back it up in neutral, and you you just have to sit there and hold at least three or five of them. I mean, she's a very great character. I mean. Close quarters combat, like CQC she master. wins, she wins, and she can outrange you. She has projectiles, like it's nuts. The booty bump is something you oh, don't yeah. trifle with. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Hi, Sheena. Such a, a great way to break zone. And there we have 